What's going on, gamers? Today we're back with a little bit more Elden Ring. What we'll be covering today is how you can manage to solve a puzzle that will get you one of the best talismans in the game for the sorcery class. So if you want to get the Graven Mass Talisman, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back, all you guys and girls. As always, Four Things Gaming, Four Things Xbox. Then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon? I bring you all the latest and greatest in gaming, hints, tips, guides, and builds. But for today, we're bopping all the way up here to Rare Lucaria, and we're going to be jumping straight over to the main academy gate. You will have to have progressed a little ways in the game, but this part's definitely not too far in, to be perfectly honest, and you'll be able to purchase something here that's going to be vital. So make your way just down this way, and what you're looking out for will be a bonfire, because you're going to be looking for a travelling trader. Well, I say travelling, they don't actually move, but you know what I mean. So, just over here, we have the fellow we're after. And nice and easy, what you're going to want to do is buy the fanged imp ashes off of him. Because you're going to need that summons for later. Next up, you're going to want to make your way all the way over here to the village of the Albanorex. Turn straight around from your spawn location and head just up the hill. What we're looking for now we're going to need to get the Halig Tree Secret Medallion in order to get a little bit further into the Consecrated Snowfield later on. You're going to want to make your way up here and there's going to be a pot that you're going to need to smash. Just hit it once and it's going to reveal this fella right here who's going to hand you the first part to the Secret Medallion. And that's going to be the right side to the Halig Tree Secret Medallion. Now like I said, you will have to proceed a little bit further in the game, you're going to have to go past the capital boss, and you're going to have made your way to the Grand Lift of Rold. From there, you're going to have to make it all the way up north, past pretty much everything, because you're going to want to make it to this right here. And that's the Castle Soul. What you're going to need to do in this situation, will be to make it all the way through to the boss, because you're going to need to defeat him in order to get the second half of the Halic Tree Medallion. Which you're going to acquire by going through this door right here behind the boss once he's defeated. Make it up the stairs, then you're going to want to proceed just around the corner to the lift. Activate it, go up again. And right at the top, you're going to see something nice and shiny and glowy. Pick it up, because that's the item you're going to need in order to complete that medallion. From there, you're going to go all the way back to the Grand Lift of Rold, switch your medallion on the Xbox at least, it's by pressing right on the D-pad, activate that, and it will take you to this path right here, the hidden path to the Halic Tree. It's a bit of a snowstorm, so it is hard to see anything, but if you keep proceeding forward, you will eventually make your way forward to the inner consecrated snowfield. From there, take the path I'm about to show, and you're going to make your way to the tower eventually, which you need to do the next part of this quest for. Like I said, you can't really see much. Location markers are definitely going to help you in this, but try and just go the same way as I'm going. And what you're going to want to do is just keep looking out for a kind of wall. Once you start seeing these wall pieces and these type of enemies just here, you know you're in the right place. You're going to want to hug the wall just up here. Make your way round, and then you're going to want to bop off this ledge just over here. And 
and now you're at the Albanoric Rias, which is the exact location you need to get that Graven Mass Talisman. However, you've made it all the way here, now what do you do? Well, right there is the kind of indicator for the puzzle, and it's showing some imps fighting. What you can want to do, go around to the right hand side of the wall here, and there's going to be another imp you can fight. Rather than you fighting it, make sure you activate your fanged imps and that they go, and that they go to work. As far as I'm aware, I don't think they actually have to kill the imp, I think they've just got to be battling it. If you want to take it out, you can. I'll let them kill it just to be 100% sure, but I believe they've just got to take part in the battle, and if they're not strong enough, you will be able to get involved. But from there, nice and easy, you've done the hard part, now you're going to make your way all the way up the ladder and you're going to reap your reward. Once at the top, same as all the other rises, make your way around the staircase. This one was quite nice because it didn't have someone trying to knock me off. Make your way to the top. And you finally got one of the best talismans in the game for the sorcerer class, the Graven, the Graven Mass Talisman. As you can see here, greatly raises potency of sorceries. Well worth having, well worth equipping if you're a mage, and probably one of the most sought after ones in the game. As always guys and girls, hopefully that helps you out. This works really well if you're trying to boost your damage with a few other combo talismans, this one's perfect. As always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox, take care. I'll see you on the next day.